Hello students, in the last class we have discussed about various factors that cause spoilage of the food. In this class we will discuss about various causes for spoilage of the canned food during storage. After canning the foods, the canned food may spoil during the storage. The spoilage of the canned food may be attributed because of mainly two reasons. Either the spoilage is due to the container or spoilage due to the contents of the container. So that means either the can may be the reason for the spoilage or the contents of the can may be the reason for spoilage. If the can is under reaction with some other substances it may lead to uh, production of hydrogen gas which leads to swell. So if the fruits or vegetables are under reaction so it may cause a discoloration or browning of the food. Though these changes are invisible or not visible from outside, the contents of the container may be spoiled but it is not clearly visible outside. But identification of these spoilages is necessary to identify whether a particular canned food is edible or not. By judging the external appearance of these cans, the way it pops out, the way it swells, the way it responds, we can judge whether that particular can is edible or not or is whether it is fit for consumption or not. So though we cannot just taste the contents of it and we can judge uh, whether that particular can is fit for consumption or not. Whether a can is normal or it is fit for consumption or it is spoiled or it is unfit for consumption. So these assumptions or judgments can be passed on based on the visual observations or based on the external appearance of the can. For example, if this unspoiled can or the can which is fit for consumption will be having both the ends either flat or slightly concave. So in the case of your healthy can that is which is fit for consumption will be having a flat bottom or flat top or slightly concave or concave top. But in the case of the cans which are not fit for consumption so they will be having slightly distorted or popped out or bulged or swollen either top or bottom or it might have got slightly distorted. So these distorted, distorted cans are given certain names based on their type of spoilage just like you have flipper, springer, soft swell, hot swell, breather, leaker, flat sore and a burst can. So these are the terms that are used in describing a spoiled can or their various spoiled uh, food. Identification of a flipper. Flipper can looks pretty normal but when the same can is hit by a sharp edge like any tabletop or any sharp object one side of the can pops out or looks like a swell or when there is an increase in temperature it causes bulging on the one side so this is due to the mild positive pressure that is developed from inside so this scans can be set right to its normalcy just by pushing inside so that the can remains flat when a can is swollen or bulged at the both the ends or concave at one end or both the ends but the thing is when you 
press or push at one end of the can the other end that is the opposite side of the can pops out or bulges so this type of cans you call them as springers so this springer is similar to that of the flipper in terms of the reasons for its formation both flipper and springer they are caused as a result of overfilling and under exhaustion overfilling in the terms of filling the can over and above the capacity of the can under exhaustion means exhausting the can below the required temperature and duration if these things are happening this will lead to the formation of either flipper or a springer but the thing is this flipper and the springer both are fit for consumption but these cans when they are exposed to a, a fluctuations in temperature it may lead to a denting of the can as you can see in the picture so there is a, a various reasons that are mentioned so due to the insufficient exhaustion overfilling it bulges so due to the fluctuations in temperature it causes denting a soft swell a soft swell is as a result of low gas pressure that is developed inside the can so when such low gas pressure is developed both sides of the can bulges so this soft swell can be made normal uh, flat cans so the both the sides of the cans can be made flat by by applying pressure by pushing them because of the mild pressure so such cans are called as soft swollen cans just like soft swell hard swell is also characterized by the presence of bulging of both the ends of the can but in the case of a soft swell the end bulged ends can be brought to normal nature of the can where the ends can become flatter by applying pressure but in the case of hard swell even after applying pressure the bulged ends cannot be brought to their normal state that is um, flat ends because of the fact that so there is a microbial decomposition so the microbes bring about decomposition of the food and they start producing carbon dioxide and this causes internal pressure this pressure will be so much that you cannot bring the bulged ends to its normal state the pressure becomes so high so high that this pressure causes even losing of the seam the seam is nothing but where uh, the top ends uh, the, both the ends of the can are attached by the lids uh, by the caps so the seam may be lost or even the double seam even it may be lost either the double seam or side seam of the can may be lost as a result of the pressure that is developed from within the can it leads to uh, it lead to bursting of the can and these bursting burst cans or will be having a odor specific odor those are obnoxious bad smell or obnoxious odor or sore odor and the contents will be uh, discolored or brown and the contents of such cans they are not fit for consumption because of the fact that so they are uh, decomposed by this clostridium botulinum which will produce toxins so the cans which are uh, identified as hard swells cannot be consumed cannot be used for the consumption so they are not fit for consumption when there is a minute leakage in the can so this leakage encourages entry of atmospheric air so that includes your oxygen also enters into the can that neutralizes 
vacuum present in the can and the vac the air from the can is flowing outside and the air from the atmosphere is flowing into the can so that's why the name is called as a breather so it breathes air it takes in air and gives out air thereby the pressure of the can and the atmosphere become similar almost the same but whenever this oxygen enters into the can the oxygen causes rusting of the can so this rust causes discoloration of the food that causes spoilage even though so through this minute leakage there are very remote chances of entry of microbes which causes spoilage so there won't be usually any spoilage only spoilage being spoilage as a result of rusting which causes discoloration or else this food or this canned food is fit for consumption that means a breather can food is fit for consumption leaker can are the can with minute holes which are formed as a result of either corrosion maybe internal or external it causes fine pin holes so which will form as a leaker or this leaker can also be developed as a result of when the cans are being packed into the cases or the containers and the cases are, uh, are having a uh, faulty nails so these nails when they pierce into the cans they form holes or it may be due to the internal gas that is produced as a result of uh, microbial decomposition so which will cause formation of uh, bursting of the cans which will lead to form uh, small leakers or it may be due to any of the mechanical damages so this uh, leaker forms as a result of either mechanical damages or corrosion or it may be due to the internal pressure that is developed as a result of microbial spoilages when a can is not properly sterilized it retains some of the bacteria like bacillus stereothermophilus and bacillus coagulans which causes spoilage of the food but this not necessarily start producing some gas so which will cause bulging of the cans when it does not produce a gas that means you cannot identify the can that is being spoiled because of this type of bacteria and the can remains flat that's why it is called as flat sore and the term sore is derived from this particular bacteria which causes the contents of the can the food acidity has been reduced drastically low the acidity of the food is reduced drastically low it becomes very sore so the can remains flat and the contents of the food acidity is drastically reduced it becomes very sore so that's why the name flat sore so the the contents are spoiled as a result of this particular bacteria bacillus stereothermophilus and bacillus coagulans so which causes flat sore spoilage the can remains flat and the contents remain sore so that's why the name flat sore and the contents of this can are not fit for consumption when does the can start bursting that means it pops out it opens along the seam or along the double seam exposing its contents when there is a huge internal pressure a huge internal pressure is developed as a result of production of hydrogen gas where does this hydrogen gas comes from hydrogen gas comes from two sources when the microbes will decompose the food material they start producing 
what do you call hydrogen so this is one source so microbes feed upon the food uh, decompose food and produce hydrogen or the acid content of the food is re when it reacts with the tin plate acid of the food reacts with the tin plate and start producing hydrogen so from the tin plate and the acid it produces hydrogen from the microbes with the reaction with the uh, decomposition of the food start producing hydrogen so this hydrogen causes excess pressure inside and finally uh, the pressure will be so much the, along with the seam where there is a vertical joint as you can see in the picture it yields it yields so that the contents are exposed and the entire can becomes a total loss